Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our Hall of Fame update video. So in this one, we're going to be talking about the two franchises that we ran, Nashville and Rockford. Um, unfortunately, Nashville or Rockford didn't get to have the proper ending that I really wanted to give it, but it still did get a fun one. So that's why we're kind of using them now, just to you know be able to use these players one last time. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead. Oh, we got ourselves a power play. Nice. Uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to talk about the guys that have been added. So we're going to start with Nashville because there's more people there, more, you know, substance. Uh, for one, we're definitely going to add uh, Sanderson. Jake Sanderson was elite for us. He came in, he became a, a, a number or a top two D-man, no questions asked, uh, was absolutely spectacular in the playoffs uh, multiple times during the dynasty, and ended up becoming a personal favorite of mine throughout that series. Uh, then we have Yaroslav Askarov, won uh, multiple Veznas, multiple Jennings, if I'm not mistaken. I know he at least won one. He, I think he won two. Not entirely sure. Um, he was outstanding for us. Uh, he was the backstop to the whole thing. So I think that you know it's only right to have him as a uh, as a member of our Hall of Fame class here. Uh, following that, we're gonna have a few of the main guys, the guys that we all kind of expected. Uh, for starters, we're going to have Brad Lambert. You know, He came in, he had a lot to do. He really did. He had to be the leader for a new generation of Smashville. He had to be the scorer as well as the experience, which is not an easy task to do. And he did it with grace, with humility, and he just flat out performed. You know, He won the Conn Smythe in our most recent championship. Oh, that's got to hurt. Um... <laughs> So I, I think that he's definitely worthy of a spot, uh, and we're going to give it to him. Oh, what a save there. Um, in terms of the next guys, these next two are kind of hand-in-hand. Uh, we're going to talk about the first. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, the more underrated of the two first. Uh, the guy that doesn't get enough credit, in my opinion, uh, Lucic. You know, Lucic has been nothing short of spectacular since we traded for him. You know, we wanted him in the draft. Uh, we didn't quite get him. But nonetheless, the dude has been anything, everything that we could have asked for and then some. Uh, you know, we had a contract dispute a little while back, but we were able to take care of that, you know. Um, the guy who's won a few awards, if I'm not mistaken, uh, he's about, you know, he's a point per game every year type of guy, and he shows up fairly well in the playoffs. And then we have the guy that the series is really about. Javon Clark. Javon Clark was the superstar that we needed. He truly was. Um, 90 point guy, uh, point per game to 90 point guy every year, uh, 15 points plus in the playoffs each year. The dude did nothing but score and score some more. He came up with some of the most clutch moments, including our game winner in game seven of the Stanley cup finals as a shorthanded goal. Sorry guys, had to focus there for a second. Thought I might get one there with Patterson. Um, but yeah, as a shorthanded goal, he was able to score to give us the win in that Stanley Cup Finals, which was huge, obviously. So I think that Clark belongs up there in the upper echelon of players. Not quite in the Matthews and Huberto tier, but you know, just behind that. So with that being said, let's go ahead and I'm going to just go over the what uh, the Hall of Fame looks like for us currently. So obviously we have all the people that we listed before, right? Uh, then we go back to Holidays in Hockey Town, where we had two players get inducted. We had Moritz Sider, and then we had Ryan O'Reilly as like, yeah, Ryan O'Reilly got inducted, um, not necessarily for what he did with us, but just in general, he was a great player. Um, if, that does make me think, though, we might want to induct uh, Dvorsky into uh, the Hall of Fame, given what he had done. He was over a goal per game uh, in our latest season, so... Uh, we'll probably we'll do that. Dvorsky from uh, the Vancouver Canucks has actually been added as well. That's just a spot on ad, but you know. Uh, so for Detroit, we had Ryan O'Reilly and Moritz Sider. Uh, for saving Scottsdale, our Arizona Coyotes franchise mode, we had Austin Matthews. And then for the Sunrise Dynasty, the biggest one that we've had so far, the biggest contributor to the Hall of Fame, uh, that one we had Bryson Barney, we had Quinn Hughes. We had Aaron Ekblad, we had Alexander Barkov, and the current GOAT of my channel, uh, we had Jonathan Huberdeau. 
So if you guys enjoyed this one, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys in NHL 23. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out and goodbye.